Um, can you explain why so many of the schools were in lower socioeconomic neighborhoods? Then said, that, well, I'll leave it there. Mm, because that's where the under-resourced schools were. And so, and that's because that's where the schools were empty because that's where the loss of the population was. So it's not, it, it, we, it's not like we went and said, and by the way, just so we're clear, the overwhelming majority of our schools are filled with children of color. So that's just the practical reality. But the fact is, when you're starting a model that says we're gonna look at schools that are underutilized, that's gonna be predominantly schools of children of color. That's just, that's just the way that it is because that's where the schools were. But by the way, so this would be the other fact, the thing that just you know, makes me nut. People complain about the fact that we closed those schools. Nobody came to me and complained about the fact that we were operating these horrific buildings of education before we closed these schools. Not one person. So the fact is, we still, we had swaths of neighborhoods where there was no high performing school. No school of performing school for people in those neighborhoods. Predominantly neighborhoods filled with black and brown children. Nobody came to me and complained about that. I complained about it. It bothers me and we need to fix it. And we're on a path to fixing that. That's offensive. That is offensive and that's what we need to fix. And that's what we're on the path to fix so that every parent, wherever they live, has the right to look for and have a school that will educate their kids. We are not doing that and we need to get to a place to do that. That's what this school closing effort was about.